Time for some more XCOM. <laughs> So we have pretty much everyone we want for we might just wait for six days for jugs and reaper or jugs and um, mega so that we can get the assassin with a full Strong team. If Mox ready, we have everyone else ready. Um, finish getting these supplies. Not a lot, but might as well do that. Nice. Alright, so we have a ranger back from here as well, which is really good. output of damage that's not bad counter chosen activity is probably not bad as well we're about to fight the reaper right get some will for a character get some loot get some ap uh some health for the hunter it's also not a bad idea bond training dodge Not bad. Get some supplies for it, or just get some supply. That is 93 supplies. Supply runs, soldier wounded. I might just do this. Uh, getting some mobility on someone is pretty nice. I could try. I'm gonna have this Templar ready, which is good. I can have the sharpshooter. Mm, let's see. What do we want to have here? Could have a. I really do need another ranger. Probably get a squatty at some point. I have way too many sharpshooters. Um. Let's get Alice. Or. I don't know. Maybe I just get the hunter or. The breakthrough actually. This one's some dodge. Who do I want to put on this? I have bond training here. We have one specialist. We have a specialist that's tired. We have one. We could probably use a second specialist. So maybe just wait for the f either the five days here. So if it's five days, what I can do is I can send someone on a five day mission, right? Which would be... Uh, this is five days. This one is four. These are four and six. Not too worried about this right now. But this is actually quite nice though. The project and the promotion, because I could put one of the high level units. And this, how many days is this? There's six days, okay. We just dealt, we just dealt with the retribution. We... need to deal with now we're just probably gonna have a, an opera operation coming up right this removes it by let's say how much i imagine it's going to be like a few a couple of points but let's just go with the breakthrough research for the extra sniper rifle damage that's always nice get some dodge on 
Um, maybe Kadam again can go and get some dodge. Either that or Mox. I think I need. I want Mox to to rest. I don't know if he can rest his uh, will if he's on a if he's on a mission. So go with this. Uh, let's send in Django. I don't know. Let's send someone who's not assigned. Oh, right. And an optional soldier. I'll send in Alice. We will work hand in hand with our new allies. And supply oh. drop, yep. We got all the supplies. Which means now we're gonna we're gonna be getting our um our our like Slim, but I'm hoping we find a few more scientists. Yeah, we have the plasma, the plasma rifle coming in four days, so I think we're, we're just gonna wait here. Uh, we're gonna work towards. I want to check what's in the black market, since we now have our supplies. That means the black market probably has recycled as well. We can work on making contact with someone. We can get some supplies, and oh. I think everything else is pretty fine. We're, we're okay for those. I can check if they have anything. I have anything they want. Spider suit they really want. I could probably sell that to them. Do I want to sell that to them? I'm not using it right now. I'm using some better stuff. Crystals. Do we have anything else that I can sell here? I don't want to sell that. I could sell one exosuit. Until I get a war suit, I'm going to keep one around just in case. Mock bomb, just conditioning two scopes. One of those, get a couple of repeaters. There we go. Now we got some money at least. I'm not gonna get too ballsy with it because we do need a fair bit for the stuff that I want to make, uh, including the rifles and stuff. Versus this is gonna cost. Actually, gonna take that now. Uh, for this is 70 supplies, 10 illyrium. I'm gonna wait until I get the rifle, the plasma rifles, to see what the the cost will be, so that I don't accidentally run out of materials before that. And then we're just gonna go for making maybe making contact. I think I was making contact with something with someone before. Eighty-five supplies, eighty supplies, fifty supplies, seventy-five. Let's make contact with. How much is this? So this costs 50 supplies. A 440, so we're okay. Supplies now are, are somewhat okay. I'm almost a little tempted to actually just scan for some um for crystals and, and so on. But maybe we should just make contact with the fifth region right now. Wait until we get these back. As we got solace, surrounding areas immediately exist and blocks any mental impairments for themselves and your best garments. Pretty good. Stasis shield, so steel fuse. Yes, fuse is really nice. And this is power, but it's another operator. Okay, I only have one right now, so I'm gonna probably stick to that. Alright, so we got our improved knife sniper rifles. Which we'll get soon. Some cohesion, we got some XP, and we got some dodge. Um, I guess I can work with this one. Can send in maybe. I'll send in Morrison, and I'll send in 
maybe gone. We have a couple of captains. I could send one of these guys, but I don't want to send. I don't want to send them because I, I need them for the mission that's coming up. Right? So I could just send Kadam again. I'm gonna have the skirmisher, and I'm gonna have the, the, the good guy coming back in 32 hours, so he can get to major. What's his uh, experience like? He's actually really close to a promotion, so maybe it's not really worth it. Three, eight. actually, no, maybe it's maybe it's good enough. Two forty. Anyone that's like really low on experience? Yeah, let's just go for for Kadam. Oh wait, but he's he's bondmates with uh, Dragon Ova, so maybe not actually. Let's send let's send another. Let's send uh, Mossy. She can get a promotion and captured. Yeah, we don't want anyone getting captured, so spend the money on it. We'd also send get Morris in a promotion, right? Two grenadiers. Alright. Now we just need to wait for we completed plasma rifles, nice. Remarkable time, Commander. The aliens aren't going to be happy when they see we've got energy weapons just like theirs now. So we got a lot of stuff now. Pretty sick. Bean grenade launcher. We have a bean cannon. Bunch of stuff. We have a plasma lance, which is a, a sniper rifle. Right? Ocean AI targeting systems to deliver payloads to unprecedented precision. Beam auto pistol. Bolt up. Beam pistol. Nice. Ooh, nice. And the spectral autopsy is now instant, which is really cool. Let's do that then. Referred to by our troops in the field simply as a specter. It has so far been difficult to ascertain by what means this being is able to shift forms from a solid to gaseous state at will. I had theorized it could be a cloud of nano machines, or perhaps even an insect swarm. However, those theories have proven false, while offering no new direction mm. for my research. Well, Despite having reviewed both uh, both reconnaissance footage and eyewitness accounts from our soldiers in the field, uh, until I had seen this specimen in person, I did not fully research as how unusual it is. Known colloquially as a specter, based on its shadowy form, in the field the subject is most often seen maintaining a roughly humanoid form. However, when moving or engaging in combat actions, this form is quickly broken to reveal the truly amorphous nature of the specter. Although I had conceived a number of theories as to how this was uh, taking place, e.g., Swarming nano robots and alien insects, perhaps some sort of cyanic particle matrix. It isn't immediately clear that uh, any of those hypotheses are out of the realm of possibility. And as of yet, we have found no means of recovering all of these specters in their assembled form, leaving the evidence as to their true compo uh, composition. Although it would seem likely that the specter holds some intrinsic connection to the equally elusive codex, uh, their means of traversing our world are distinct enough to require a different approach. We hope to further our research. Refraction field. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Refraction field technology will allow acute soldiers to instantly enter concealment. However, the, f uh, the field can only be used in combat once, and the device will. This, this, these are so terrible. <laughs> oh, nice one there. boundaries of what could be considered reasonable and ethical research. Even in wartime, I must consider the fact that by providing an already unstable alien being with equipment that may further its own capabilities, I risk crossing a line that can never be uncrossed. And yet, you did it. All right, so we got our weapons. We have our people coming back very soon. Keep scanning here. 
right? Despite a thorough examination of the modified Berserker variant known as Subject Beta, I have yet to uncover any meaningful justification for the enhanced equipment provided by Dr. Valen to the creatures as it relates to her own research. Let me be clear. I fully understand the creature enhanced endocrine system requires the addition of the supplement, supplementary transport and filtering mechanism to maintain hormonal equilibrium. As well, I admit it is a reasonable, elegant solution to an otherwise daunting question. What I cannot understand is why... Right, he's been talking this entire time. Um... <clears throat> why was it necessary for Dr. Violet to take this relatively certainty beyond the theoretical stage? There was no need for a proof of concept here. The end result was no doubt as clear to her as it is to me now. I firmly believe, believe that she made a conscious decision to see her work through to the end, knowing full well the risks not only to herself but everyone who might encounter the subject. Might encounter subject beta in the future. I am thankful we found that creature when we did, and that our forces were capable of neutralizing such formidable, formidable enemy. The senior staff has agreed that the remains of Beta would be utilized as part of an enhanced armor suit, although the actual conversion process sounds like something that would have been better handled by Dr. Valen herself. Mm. Rage suit. It may be possible to retrofit the exceptional drivel skin of the Berserker King to high power body suit. Proved shotguns. Noise. Mm -hmm. Plus one damage, don't mind if I do. Um, Alright, so let's see what our build items are looking like here. So, for these we're going to need, so beam pistol, beam auto pistol. I want this for sure. So that's 90 supplies, 5 and 10, okay. This is one blast launcher, which I don't have yet. Let's get the cowboy pup, the plasma rifle. And then report again. I could get the beam pistol for the sniper. Or I could get this for the psyop. I haven't given anything to the psyop yet, so let's maybe do that. I mean, I could still do this. We've been after all this, so. Maybe the beam pistol, because having the, the sniper being able to shoot and do a lot of damage is pretty good. Oh, it's here, proving ground, right? Unfortunately, we don't come across many linguists out here. The war suit's going to require just money and allies, which we now have done off. So it's a good thing I'm scanning for some. Commander. Okay, we have level three bond, and we have the tiger circus. So we have gorilla gorilla ops coming up. Uh, I kind of want to do the assassin before the gorilla ops, to be honest. I don't know how much time passes. I don't know if time passes at all. I, don't, I wouldn't imagine so. I would imagine it's just the time that you're in the mission, right? Automated defenses. We have a lot of robotic enemies. Uh, it counters a hidden event. We have vigilance, which increases detection's radius um, of all enemy. And get an engineer. And we have a bunch of people that are immune to everything. Or we just go for, uh, I think the hidden events, honestly, well, actually, we countering this event is pretty good. We cover an item, but the, the reward is not that interesting right now. An engineer is fine, but... Not super exciting. I feel like supplies help us the best right now. But, so this expires in four hours. I want to test something. I want to see if I, wait, four hours. So it's immediate. Okay. I don't know. Wait, so it expires in f 25 hours. Okay. I'm going to see if I can attack the, um, the, um, the assassin and then do the mission. Or if that's gonna like cancel it. I don't think it will, but it's worth testing, right? Because I wanna I wanna do that fight first, basically. It doesn't say how long it will take. Avenger plotting new course. Getting there takes a few hours. It took like two hours.
If I hit an entrance, they don't get another shot, well, I'll lock it. Oh. I don't think you need that. I definitely want you to be there. Definitely want you to have that as well. Let's just make sure we have the scout with, uh, with her bondmate. So the question is, do I bring... Actually, I don't think I'll bring Jugs, right? Because Jugs, his bondmate's not here. But I could bring his bondmate. But then that means... Because he's not bonded with anyone. And these guys are bonded. So it either means not bringing... Um, not bringing our Psyop. And bringing a second medic slash specialist for hacking and stuff. Or it means bringing... And that's with no Grenadiers as well. Which is its own sort of... Question mark. So maybe what I do here is don't bring Jugs and bring in a Grenadier. Which would be... Probably Lele. 12, 8 health. The least amount of will. Or I can bring Mark. I think bringing Lele is pretty good. Then, yeah. I have any PCS for hacking, unfortunately. That, that, okay. okay. Let's get... Let's get our, our weapons going. We don't have any... Alright, because we don't have any shotguns yet, which is kind of a shame. Our shard guns are 6 to 8. These are 8 to 10, so it's probably just better to take this. Repeater in a stock. An advanced stock. I could put like a, a sight on this and remove the shard gun for now. Put a laser sight on it. Let's check Vandal. Weapon upgrades. Alright, you don't have any weapons right now. Load out, shard gun. Put that up. And then remove these for now. Superior hair trigger is pretty fucking cool. Oh, interesting. This just has like a base better, a base higher crit damage. Uh, let's get that, and then we're gonna... here we gotta go into weapon upgrades. I'm gonna put in a laser sight, an advanced laser sight, and. Maybe instead of an advanced stock, we just go for a superior hair trigger. It's going to upgrade into a shotgun later. For now, it's just going to be that. And then for Glyph, we have that. For the Medic, we have... That. We need you to have one of these. Uh, where is it? One of these. I need you to have a Mimic Beacon. Let's see. Um, you're okay with that, probably. Either that would be like a Frost Bomb. But I'm pretty okay with you having a regular grade. I'll probably put a Frost Bomb on Lele instead. Then for Vandal, need to have a flashbang just in case. Actually, I'll give you. Um, I want to give you AP rounds or blue screen rounds. I really want to unlock this uh, slot. I'll give you some AP rounds. 
Actually, no, I'll give you blue screen rounds. Who has them? No one has them. Who has my blue screen rounds? Is it someone that's in a covered ops? Oh, maybe that's what it is. That's so annoying. Okay, so let's then let's then give you AP rounds. And we have that. We have a bunch of grenades. I could see you not necessarily needing a grenade. I'm gonna give you some. Uh, give you some tracer rounds. And I'll give you a hacking thing. That way you can hack a bit better. We don't have any flashbangs. Put a flashbang on you. Or on you. You're kind of a, the guy that sits a bit further back, so... You're sort of on the little shit button in a few ways, so... Alright. Let's try that. And we're gonna hope that... I saved just in case I lose the mission because of it. I wanted to make sure I didn't. I also didn't bring the Templar, which I could have brought, but it's fine. I think... Oh no, it's not weak to melee. The other one was weak to melee. Yeah, I could have brought a Templar, but I think it's fine to have the Templar. Maybe ready for the other mission instead. Because I think uh, Dragon was probably going to be tired after this mission. Which is why I wanted to run it first as well. So I wanted to avoid any injuries. And stuff. Ooh, I think I forgot to equip weapons on other people. Maybe. This may not be the most ideal situation, but it could be our only chance to take one of these things out. Good luck, and be careful. Well, worst, we, worst could we have to save in case it's too awful, but at least I got the items in. I just forgot the weapon equipment, uh, weapon stuff. Okay, people. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today. No matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than any of your kind. Pride that your death this day honors the Elders. Okay. There's that room. We're gonna go into this one first. I don't see anyone yet. Uh, that one goes over there as well. I'll put you right here. Out. All right, that's not even the door, so I couldn't even go here if I wanted to. Okay. I'm trusting you. At least most characters do have stuff already equipped, so. Covering distance. Unfortunately, John doesn't have <clears throat> um, I'm trusting you the dash, dash into cover thing. Yeah, Shazad has no equipment on, yeah, I forgot to put his, his equipment on his, uh, Give him a leveled up gun as well, but that's okay. Or not a leveled up, an equipped gun. So that sucks. That's fine. Oh, all right. Well, we weren't expecting to sneak in here today. Let's take these things out. Hit the armor. The target is marked. Force my hand. I can afford to give you no quarter. Okay. We could just whiplash this guy. 
Um, he is also overwatching. Seems also, there's this guy for 100% for shutdown and it's 56 for control. I could potentially skulljack someone, but that's only a 70% chance, and it seems to always just be a 70% chance. Oh. This is intel, which is definitely not something that is uh, to be scoffed at. And stern, and this does not in turn. This and stern, and this and stern. 83% chance of dominating an enemy permanently as well, which is why pretty interesting. I could try it. Let's see if it goes. But oh, we got him. Let's go. Alright. Um, we have an 80% on that guy. He, she is still stealth, which is great. Um, shot on the robot here is 100%. Damage is 4 to 5, which is not that exciting. Shot on that guy is also 100%, and it's also 4 to 5. And it shreds too. Remote start is terrible. Um, I want to see if maybe I can remove the the Overwatch from that guy. Nice. Okay, so we got the damage there. Dealt a lot. Of, dealt a good chunk of damage too. That pure fire should probably die. And so does that. The robot also needs to die. The shield bearer is a little bit less of an immediate threat. We have for melee, I mean, we, we don't have to stay stealth with uh, our girl as well. We can also shut down the robot if we have to, so I'm not too worried about the robot. Um, so I can try figuring out everyone else first. We missed. We have the zero in now. Don't miss again, please. Nice. Okay. That's one down. Now we could just work on that shield bear. We shut down the other guy. This is 56 if it hits. We took a nade. Red. Red this guy, red the robot, and then shut him down, and also remove the cover. Let's get the crit. And... See if we can take it around that guy to execute him. percent shot deals four to five her damage is still really low she needs that uh that better that better rifle not them quite sad well, let's first shut down the robot We would have gotten the control as well. Just take a shot if she dies. <laughs> Great. She died. And then for you, uh, I don't think... No, not you. What do you shoot your friend like that? I could shoot with you, but I would rather not, because I want to have you... Uh, I want to have your stealth chance to be as high as possible. Or your your un your non-revealing chance to be as high as possible. I'll just move you in here. Hopefully that doesn't reveal. Choose 
to come here to face me. So I'll ask this guy and just kill him. They should have done it with someone else in hindsight for the experience, but that's fine. And that way, and I guess we can only go this way, so let me just check real quick. Actually, I'll, I'll avoid opening this door right now, because if, if we engage with anyone, it could be bad for the Lancer, and, I, and I'll, I'll treat him like one of our own members. <clears throat> I'm going to keep everyone on this side, just in case there's anyone in that room. Nothing here. There could still be someone like around here, but we don't really see it. Um, and it seems like I have to go that way. So. Moving as ordered. Bye, Just in case anyone, anything walks from over there. Okay. Oh, see? There you go. Ooh, that would have been a juicy one. No, sir. That would have been a juicy one if we had them. Okay, so we have the enemies here. Um... We could definitely try to set up an engagement for. Let's see if this triggers them. Yep. All right. I think we can just use a nade. That shreds a oh, whole lot of them. <laughs> uh, I don't have the best line of sight, and I don't need to have cover for any of them. I mean, it increases the chances of course missing, but I think it's overall just pretty... I also want to be away from explosives, just in case. Let's get this show on the road. Uh, why do you really... you really want to shoot that guy, don't you? Let's see if I can get that nade in here. Just barely, but I, I want to hit that fourth as well, and I think and I know she has a pretty good chance of hitting. Does my Reaper have a chance? No. You could throw a clay. No, it's just shy as well. That's a shame. Because I probably finish off an enemy with her. Uh, I could put Mox here. It park that parkour perk is seeming more and more like amazing. Moving and shooting twice with Mox is just so fucking good. So let's just do this. With Vandal, let's chuck this nade here. And then I think I can take a shot with this guy. Uh, or just try to hit one of them. It's kind of it's pretty suicidal for, for them. But let me make sure I have a pretty decent plan here in case I miss. Um, John can go here, shoot one of those. Not him. Thank you, alright. Minus one. Um, 
You can probably either stasis the big guy, or why do you really want to kill that guy? Uh, but the stasis has well, actually we can do with the cooldown. That's fine. I think stasing stasis on the berserker is probably a good idea. So that it's easier to manage the chrysalids. Not worrying too much about the big dude coming running at us immediately. Oh. Okay. Next one. We got them. I can just uh, get with the Lancer. I guess I can move up with you a little bit. I do want to avoid you getting spotted, of course. But it's pretty safe. You missed an eighty percent. Okay, dude. This is why. This is why. This is why we kill you. I keep moving forward and shoot. Just blast him with so fire. As a finisher, if needed. Now I think I'll just reload with Moxie or shoot him twice. But also attack him with this 100%. Let's shoot him first. Actually, we can't see it apparently, so let's just attack it first. What does the uh, what does the angry thing do? It gains a bonus mobility. Okay, that's. John, shoot this man. Nice. Right. John is now a major. Not major Tom, but he's major John. Let's see. So we have this room here, which. Oh, that just. I think that's the uh, teleportation room, so I think that's all for this area. Okay, let's try this way. Don't slow me down. I'm gonna put you here so you can open this next turn. Although you might get, oh, uh, someone might open the door on you as well, which is. It does say alien activity, but I don't know if there's actually any. Okay, so this is the room. Oh, but there's a codex. There's two codexes in there. We're gonna probably try to uh, do a brain poke in one of them because I haven't been able to do a whole lot of skull mining, unfortunately. What I think I'll do is I'll come in here. Actually, no, because yeah, they're like on this corner, right? So it should be pretty safe to just move about. Oh, there's three codexes in here. Four codexes in here. Okay, four? No, it's three. A great distance. Don't reload. Move this way. If you say so. You just go there. 
You can go here. You can go there. You can just chill. 12 health is not that much. I'm not particularly super worried about them. Also, well, just the rest of them. I could check a claymore and, like, kill most of them already. It's a shame that that's just that barrel over there. Um, I think that won't be necessary. Put you on Overwatch just on the rarely. Very rare. Okay, so it is four of them. Okay. Like, I thought I saw four. Wow, they really want to go into the thing. I could check a claymore at them, actually. That, that's like a like just perfect claymore position. I think I can reach it, though. Can I? I, I can. It's always hard to know if you can hit, hit the claymore or not with a shot. Oh wow, they, they, do they aggressively clone? They kind of did, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, she almost got revealed. Um, okay, let's see if I can get a bring poke in any of them. No, doesn't look like it. Because it would be with John, right? Wait, can... John, where are you? That's Lele, Shivani... Mox, John. Buff, oh, just shy. It's over there. I could shoot it. I could also just kind of chill. If I had my stock, I could take shots with it, but since I forgot to stock, it's kind of. Ooh, don't stop. I so fire your friends. Please. 80% to hit that guy. Um. Could we actually? I don't want to keep them out of cover because that's kind of sketchy. I know if they try to like psionic bomb us, we're pretty fine because they all die from the feedback damage. I was really hoping I could get um, a shot in one of them with the. The thing of a jig, but whatever. Could just hit the, the back guy, right? Let's hit the back guy. Don't answer. Hit him. It doesn't have a lot of armor. That's fine. It's enough for Overwatch. Yeah, not having the stocks really does suck. That's on me. I forgot to equip it. Shouldn't be the end of the world or anything. I think I'm kind of baiting a feedback damage here. Um... John over here. Overwatch. Put Overwatch in there. Yeah, oh. Alright. Nice. One down. Atomic bomb. Dead. Nice. <laughs> well, I got a promotion from that. That was an Overwatch, I think, right? Oh shit, okay. Not our will that uh, he wasn't. He's not even flanked. What a shot. What a guy. Okay, so that guy is overwatching. That means you get to kill that guy. You could so fire the other one. I unfortunately don't think I can hit the, the brain, the brain steel. That's okay. Uh, I'll just send in a medic for a uh, glyph. Put you over here though. I need that mod that shows me the AoE of this thing because it's really poorly explained. Circle AoEs on a square, square tile game is always a little tricky. I can hit you with someone else, maybe, maybe Shivani. So you could probably slap me, right? Oh, I think I, I blew the chance to slapping them because I moved. Missed. 
I'm move you here. Just don't fire that guy. The mobility with these guys is insane. Did I put him in the AoE? What might have? Oh well. You'll be fine. I'm not gonna bother reloading with him. Oh, the defense. Good to go. No problem, boss. My life is in your hands. Advancing quickly. That's everyone, right? Wouldn't it be sex? Seven people? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Running. There we go. We'll return to the Avenger. Don't need to return to the Avenger. It's fine. Let's go. See you on the other side. Yeah. Time to clap some ass ass in his cheek. Chamber for the chosen. No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. Even now, you push ahead, XCOM, undaunted in your task, a fitting epitaph for your race. May you be remembered. Okay, so we have a mech and an archon there. I'm going to be a little careful as to how I engage this. Uh, I do think if I move here, I will actually engage the, the, the group. So I think what I should probably do first is bomb one of them. Uh, they were like right next to each other. What's You know what's annoying? I revealed the Archon with the Reaper, but it doesn't actually show him. Oh, that kind of sucks. Move here. It reveals the mech. Okay, that's good enough. It reveals the Archon as well, apparently. So. The Overwatch is fine. Just bomb them. Oh, I don't get to bomb both. The Archon is the priority for getting removed, though. You don't trigger Overwatch. But I think if I dash here, I trigger the Assassin. So I want to do that after. I should have brought a Sniper, actually, in my sight. But that's okay. Whiplash hits the Archon. But not the uh, Mr. Roboto. Uh, can I maybe take a sting shot with you at the robot? Why can you literally, like, no one fucking see this thing? Like, I guess I can move you and shoot, right? Will that be enough to trigger the assassin? I hope not. Can I hack the robot? 
I can't. Okay, so let's just do that first. Um, controlling him would also reveal the, the thing, which is not great for us. I want to have to deal with the assassin immediately. Let's just shut him down. Should I put him into cover first? That was my mistake. Turn it off. No overwatch for you. I'm just gonna try to insanity this thing. It's a 53 percent, so it's not a very high. Stasis is not really that good either. You could just move here, take a shot at it. Again, not having not having any of my utility kind of sucks here, but such as life with my weapon upgrades. 55 missed. Could try to suppress it. But I think just shooting that is pretty good. Okay, that's a hit. But I thought you could see them from here. God. Oh, game. Come get them. You could shoot him. You could finish him off. You deal four to five. Okay, so I just need to get him to less than four to five health. Which means Mox just might just take two shots back to back. Even out of cover. Yeah, that's eight damage. And now I think Dragonova should be able to finish them. Four to five, it's not a guarantee. Let's just shoot first. Run out of options first. Right, yeah, that's fine. Uh, don't want to shoot that guy yet because I have no business in doing so. Then we'll just deal with the robot that's shut down. Nice. Got me down. Um, put you. I want to, again, I don't want to move forward too much just to avoid Seems doable. any kind of uh, triggering of the assassin until we have these guys dead. Miss. Uh, Mox. And behind everyone else and shoot as well. Six damage. How much health does that have? It has four health left plus the armor. I don't know if this works. So let's find out. I want to see something. Yeah, okay. So it's three plus the armor. And I got a 90% on the reveal. So we will wait. Um, but we didn't trigger the assassin, it seems. So maybe it's fine. That would have sucked if you had triggered the assassin. John. Nice. We have you. You can just reload for now. Uh, she doesn't trigger Overwatch, so it doesn't really matter. Um, gotta move in to pick that up. Also, kind of want to shadow with you first. I know we're probably gonna trigger the assassin by doing this. Yep. All right. Yep. There you go. Agreed. Expand a magazine and Ben's laser side. Pretty good. I have your item. Oh, we got the assassin. Nice. Uh, we could zap her. We kind of want to shred her as well. Can't reach her right now, but I could try to zap her first. Actually, let's let's try to grenadier her out of cover first. It's probably the better the better play here. But not let leave everyone together because that puts everyone very successful to uh, many different things. I kind of regret not reloading for us here, but whatever. Cross bomb. 
she's I think immune to explosives, but the shredding is independent of that and her cover is not immune to explosives. Um, reload for free and shoot her twice. Hmm, not great odds, but nice. Ooh, 12 damage. Beautiful. Oh, you missed a 78. Okay. Let's shoot. Uh, John, shoot at 86. Oh, right. Missing causes them to get shields now. That's annoying. Nice. 86. Uh, what's your damage? You have a guaranteed 7 to 10 or a 12 to 15. But it's a 64. Mm. I don't know about that one, Chief. 79. Is it immune to melee or is it weak to melee? I don't remember. The assassin can summon Max. Okay, it doesn't actually say anything about that. If I attack it with melee, it's 10 to 13. It's 100% chance. If I don't attack it with melee, it's 12 to 15. I'd rather take the 15 here and then kill you with the uh, the psionic last thing. You leave me exposed, but that's fine. Twelve damage, so that was minimum damage. And then I just so fire. Should have moved first, but that's okay. Oh great! Roger. The device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor, transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the chosen. Destroy. No wonder these things don't die. The codex. The target is marked. And the specter. I think the specter needs to go first. Twenty-two health. That thing is not a slacker. Hundred percent chance. Uh, oh, actually, oh no, it doesn't work, right? Because you have to, you have to kill it first, so it doesn't. Because I could banish this. I could try to banish the. Oh no, you can't banish that. Oh, that's sad. What do you mean I can't banish that? That's bullshit. Um. Okay, let's hit that. <clears throat> Move you. Can't get it, can't seem to get a flank on you. I could freeze the specter so that he's less of a hassle immediately. Um, and just bonk him. Or I can just try to see if I can bonk him real good with the other characters. You do 7 to 9, you do 7 to 9 as well. I think it's at 70%. Puts you here, puts you out of cover and into position for getting absorbed by the specter, which is not great given that everyone's pretty far away and we have no ways to deal guaranteed damage to you right now outside of you and the reaper dashing maybe i'm okay with taking codex damage from the feedback or the, rather the codex taking feedback damage from us but i think i will freeze that specter just to play it safe because that's a lot of health Then I'll just slap you with that and put you in full cover. Um, if I shoot you, you have a 50 cent chance to reveal now, which kind of sucks because of that unfortunate accent with the... Um, that guy. Put you here, shoot that. Shoot that codex. Uh, 
unfortunate. Um, shoot here and shoot that specter. Or the game could just lie to me. That's fine too. Uh, Alright, so I could just sting. I don't want to sting because I don't want him to divide unnecessarily, right? Can I grapple anywhere? No, this is all pretty flat, unfortunately. Could put you here for a vision of the specter. A hit. That is nothing. That put you on Overwatch. And I guess I can... Actually, I can give you teamwork so that you can shoot that thing again. That works. And then that dies. Yep, perfect. You're just lucky they don't let me use my hands. And with you, I can just put you on... God, I really want to shoot. I could, I could just shoot this. It's fortified. It's really not a lot of damage, though. But any damage is probably good, right? Because that Codex is probably just going to do stuff. Uh, I don't have another action with you. Could sting it as well. That's fine. Or I could sting the, no, the Codex. I don't want to sting. I'll just sting that to avoid getting out of cover. Another Codex. We have heavy mac. Okay. Heavy mac. I'm gonna try to either control or shut down. I don't have the blue screen rounds because they unfortunately went into someone else that went to a mission. Sucks, but whatever. Okay, psionic bomb. So that thing should take eight damage from that. So it should be at four now. Splits. You're not the one that was one. That one's the one. Okay, let's go over there, shoot that one. I think that means, I don't know if that means we're gonna now have a chance to reveal. I think it might. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Alright, that's fine. We can... That guy is dealt with. That guy is... Uh, not dealt with. But, you know, who's definitely not dealt with. The robot behind us. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the thing that allows me to... Wait, I, I kind of want to get go see that robot to kill it. I kind of want to also poke the, the Codex's brain, but it's a 70% 70, 70, 70 chance, which I don't like. Also, we never got our Lancer back, by the way. The guy that we dominated got like, you know, he got dismissed. Which is fucking bullshit. Because it says it's permanent. But then the game was like, nah, just kidding. Um, let's either shut it down or just say, or like take control of it with the... With the let's go down here. Or with Lot, with John. Oh shit, did not know that was overwatching. 56% um, to control. Ah. Gamma, fuck it. Should have enough things to kill it. So. Come on, John. Dude, this is the second time you do this, John. Ah, fucking hell. Literally the second time he gets like to eight out of nine and then just fucking says no. Right.
Assassin's back. So I can't shoot a sarcophagus until it's actually healing the thing, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. I think I will move everyone. What I might do is actually stasis the robot here. I'll have to deal with it for this turn. Um, reload. Unfortunately, I don't get to trigger Overwatch with her, but uh, that's okay. We're just gonna see if we can reveal her somewhere. Wait, where is that codex? Codex is over there. Okay, it's behind cover, which is not great for us. See if I can maybe hit the codex with Ox. All right. Perfect, so it's close to Vandal now. We can still reload and shoot it. Dude, that strike is so good. You go here and just slap this codex. Did I reload it with you first? Add enough movement for, for both? Can I move you here just so that you're close to the robot? And then John can probably just stay there. Do you want to give action? No, Mox is fine. I think I can... Well, overwashing doesn't really do anything unless a new thing spawns in. Chosen's gonna probably hit someone. Yep. A lot of damage. And you also spawn two max. Okay. You might be in a little bit of trouble. Overwatch, okay. An assassin runs away. And is over there by Mox now, which is pretty convenient for us. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick before continuing. And the stasis on that thing ended. Okay.
have an Overwatch robot. We have one that's on the health. Um, I'm just going to chuck a Claymore at these two. And deal with the Heavy Mech afterwards. Ox is probably going to shoot the, the Assassin. Uh, we're probably going to need to heal Glyph um, so that he doesn't die. Lately, unfortunately, can only suppress. You probably shoot the Claymore as well, depending on how I throw it. That thing comes back with full armor as well, which is kind of bullshit, but okay. I want you... Ooh. Which one has visit... Which one will see you if I do this? How about you, Kadam? Can you, like, sneak in? Oh, actually, you don't trigger reaction fire, so you could just do this for me. Got the, got that uh, reaction. It doesn't really help us right now because I need to reload. But We're green to go. At least we get to reload now. All right, Mox, I want you to come here and probably just, just bop this, this bully. Uh, probably also want someone to come in there and shoot the robots. But I need John to not be. Um, I need John to heal Glyph. Glyph, if you can kill that robot that's immediately by you, that's great. That The big one is kind of an issue, especially because he's super powered, but let's maybe just focus on one at a time. Probably move you out of uh, well, that thing is going to flank you easily anyway, right? Because it has a ton of mobility. Uh, so it's not great, but... Flashbangs don't work on you. Pretty sure. Um, if I've said shot. Or you just run. But I think even if you run, it's not looking good for you. So Suppressing doesn't really do much for us. Uh, moving here. And then maybe shooting that other robot. Also is not the best. Don't have any high ground, so I can't really get any high ground with really. I think maybe I deprioritize the assassin and shoot the mechs first, because I think they are causing us more headaches right now. Fortunately can't reach any nades without moving, so I can't get the I can't move and I can't shoot twice with them, which is an issue. So I have Lele. I can shoot once. Oops, so, someone's probably someone else is probably gonna get shot this time. Likely glyph. Um but I could make them work a little bit for it anyway. But it put themselves into a better position for us, which would be like this way. Uh, I can see you both that way. Full cover. That puts you close to Outrider. I don't want to do that. It accidentally reveals her. So I want you to shoot this guy. Don't miss, please. Bless your heart. Okay. Now, not having stocks here really sucks because now I can't make sure that this guy dies even if I miss. 75 cent shot. Not the greatest. Could be worse. I'm gonna move you here. I think that keeps you out of the micro missile range. Still a 75. I was hoping to get a better. Nice. Okay. So now it's just the the big boy. It's kind of an issue. I could move and nade it. Uh, that puts John and Mox in danger. Or I can just move here and bop the assassin. Keep the assassin busy with Mox. Um. Don't know how good of an idea that is. Maybe just shoot the room. I kind of want to make the assassin move away from monks, because I, or like move closer to us, basically. But I don't want to put monks in the line of fire either. But Mox does have a lot of health. Uh, I think even if I give stuff to Flawless, he still has a two, two round cooldown on this. He can heal. 
Oh wait, he still has one, one action. Okay, so I could give Mox then two turns. And he might be able to shoot down the robot. 15 health. Can shoot him once. Let's see. The only thing is... It's out of cover entirely, which, you know, chances of the assassin then using uh, her shotgun shot instead of anything else are not low. But if she gets close to him, oh no, it doesn't trigger his, his attack because he's, um, she doesn't trigger reaction shots, which is really shit for us, but whatever. Let's move here. And so if I shoot here at 25... Oh, but you don't ignore armor. Shit, I thought you did. Someone else that ignores armor. Okay, let's let's nade you first then. Having blue screen rounds is really hurting here. Uh, and I'm gonna just give teamwork to Mox. I could either hide here or just shoot him again. Uh, shoot for the 85. It's not bad. It's not amazing. Mox is in danger here, for sure. But I think he might go for... Oh, shit. Okay. He missed the 75. God bless. All right. Oh, shit. He got double flanked. Huh? Wait. Who are you? What? What's... Where is it going? Oh. Okay. Isn't he immune to that? He is. <laughs> Get fucked. Alright. Thanks. Alright, so the game gave us a break here. It's nice. Um, 71%. This is, should be 100, right? With the, it's 88, actually, because of the boost of defenses. Let's not move from here. This sounds... Like a bad idea. Can I let you see the robot? Here, yes, I can. I don't want to be close to, to the assassin though, because I really want to bop her soon. I'm gonna be within bopping range. John, come here. Get the robot, please. Seventy-one percent. Get it. John, you have like one job, man. Come on. You gonna shoot with Lele first, because he can try the armor. It's also a higher chance. 86. Alright, that's cool. Now if we can finish off with... Oh, we can finish off with the Reaper, I guess. Sure. Okay, so now, now we can start working on the Assassin again. I think I want to like push her away a little bit, so she has to move towards us. Because right now she's really far. Uh, I'm going to put Liv here. But I keep Fandle here so that we have the ability to move in and out as needed. Oh, figure that much. She's probably going to like attack. Okay, so she's just going to go in. Right. Thought she would actually attack someone. Move with Mox, see if I can spot her. Doesn't look like it. We're going to go. Gonna reload with everyone that needs to be reloaded here. Get them close to the, the monolith so. as well. And I just put people close to wherever they might spawn shit, like these areas. You can go here. Using a banish on her would be so fucking nice. Let's go. Next box. Not surprised there. Days kind of sucks. Seven damage is also, of course, never nice. And then she gets to run away again, which is a little annoying. Doesn't get to run that far. Away. 
Yes, yes. Let me see if I just put you here if it clears it from you. Fuck yeah, dude. Um, it's unfortunate we still lose an action for it, but that's fine. Uh, you should be able to shoot her from here, John. Oh, but I kind of want you to heal Mox, don't I? Mm, yeah, I do. Oh, how unfortunate. The assassin is just really annoying, dude. Because you have to just... Just the running, the invisible, just to fucking run, hit, and run away. Oh, it's just such a pain in the ass to deal with. She's on full health still, I think. So it's like... I also... Reload with you because you're actually low on ammo. Mm. Oh, you're out of cover. Why did I not move it? I don't know why I don't... That was dumb. I'm you. Put you here. And I will move you in here. Take a shot at someone? No, we're not. That's fine. We have... Oh, we're blinded, but we're not. I see. That's okay. Um, I can zap her. Or if I, could I can't fucking run at her either. It sucks. I'm just gonna move and, like, maybe just banish her. Feels pretty. That's pre feels pretty like awarded. Oh, like you know, it's valid at this point. Die by my hand. You will I will not allow you to hide. It will take more than superficial wounds to slow my advance. I a true strike. We are compromised. Can you hit this? 88%? I believe you, John. God, you really are blind. If you can, well, you can guarantee this hit, so do that. It's a bit of a waste, but whatever. from here. No longer blinded, it's huge. Uh, uh, hit that, I could also hit that. I kind of just want to focus on taking the number fucking healing thing. Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like M or F? Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you. Don't waste my time. 
and Kind of sketch. Crystal it here. 88, or I just double shoot at the thing. Can't double shoot at the thing. I'll shoot once and then I'll shoot the. Uh, then I'll whiplash. Fortunately, the whiplash is only 88%. Graze, okay, that sucks. I shoot that. Stasis on you, I'll try to insanity you. At least disoriented, so that's good. Move you here to shoot so that I don't get to hit by the chrysalid. And I'll put you behind Mox so that Mox can attack you in case you try to move. Where is this? 7, 12 HP now. And get that. Um, get that hair trigger, that would be really nice. Unfortunate. 50% health. I don't want to take this thing down then. Can I even? I should be able to, actually. I guess that'll be okay. Shoot this thing down now. But the, the assassin's gonna come out. It's, you didn't kill it. God damn it. Okay, now we did, though. God bless. Wait, what? You didn't die? What the fuck? You grazed. You're welcome. I'll come here so I can clap your ass. Um, right, so... Now we need to kill that Archon. Um, yeah, I'm good, Sophia. Thank you, though. You there? I think I'll shoot with you. I'll shoot that Archon. My lord. John, 70. How is your chance always so low? My god, John, please. You have like one job, dude. Just fucking hit that shot. Alright. That's actually a little sketchy for me, so let's just reload here. 
Shoot that chrysalid. Get the max. Oh, that's annoying. And you're gonna run away too, aren't you? God, you're such a bitch. And and both of them over Overwatch, don't they? God bless. Oh, your movement range is so annoying. Oh my goodness. Look at look at she ran across the. She was here. She ran all the way here. What the fuck, man? Let's get some uh, shredding on them first. Their armor held. One, one out of Overwatch. Um, revival protocol, probably pretty important here. Low haywire is also pretty important, but I think revival doesn't actually get my turn, so let's just do that. Shut down the other one. Or I can try to see if John will disappoint me yet again with a full control. But I think in this case, honestly, given the fact that we've already used a few med kits, maybe it's best if we just like shut it down, play it safe. Yeah. We've already we've already used a few med kits. Yeah, he would he would have missed it again. So it's a good thing I didn't do it. Didn't trust John. Sorry, John. Which one do you see if you go there? Oops. Um ninety five? All right. Oh, wow, that was very far. Why are you all, are you all the way there doing this, dude? What the fuck? Whoa! Okay. I was like, did I just lose my guy? <laughs> like, is he dead? He can be the will of these nuts. Goddamn. Chris, that's fucking annoying. See if I can find that fucking assassin. Oh. 
I, Mox is now max level, which is pretty good for us. I have a lot of flank people. Um, but that's the way it is. Things will never be the same. I can handle that. That's agility. Someone wanna take this. Okay, go on. She was right there. How did you not see her? You motherfucker. Are you gonna go back that way? Oh my god, you're the worst fucking character in this game. Alright, give me like a better grapple here. Oh. Okay. Mox, come on. That's not even enough. It's like nowhere near enough. Don't need the revival protocol right now. Um. We can run up with her. With Glyph, rather. Oh, wait, can I get Glyph to just hit the, the thing instead? It was so fire. God bless. Oh my god, we did it. Oh, and you fell, <laughs> you fell off, too. <laughs> she went. It's gone. The Glyph killed it all three times. <laughs> Oof. All right, we got her. Four wounded. Good. 29 out of 32. God bless. Dude, the the lack of the lack of equipment on weapons kinda fucked us. This guy really helped us a lot with the, the guaranteed damage. But everything else went pretty okay. I think killing it on the first round was also not the best idea because we didn't let it summon the mech lord so then we ended up having four mechs at once and that was kind of fucking scary. We got pretty lucky with some rolls on the enemy hits. We got some some very uh very earned promotions here. Some gravely wounded people, but that's fine. And also Mox is very tired, and so is Dragon and Dragon Always is pretty tired. That's fine. We'll they'll rest. We have that other mission to come up now, which is fine. It's a good thing that we didn't take the Templar as well. Um our vigilance is pretty good. And then we can move on to Vandal, who has now Untouchable, which is also really good. Lily has um, Chain Shot's really good. Volatile Mix is also pretty good. Take a shot. Minus 15 feet to target, take another shot. Target on that. Both are pretty fucking good, to be honest. Volatile Mix is hard to say no to, but Chain Shot can kind of like save your ass, depending. Hmm. 
a little a little split on this one to be honest i kind of also want to give him like all attack this one like but he, he doesn't have a high his ability is uh, it's actually above average now because he used to be average um i could give him Um, let's just go for volatile mix for now. The hollow targeting, I think, also works well with chain shot. Two ammo, three turn cooldown can be devastating. It's not cover energy or when augmented with aim bonuses. Yes, sir. Let's go for volatile mix for now. Right, so Dragonova can now do Omi Mine, attach a, homi, a flame arrow onto an enemy, does not alert the enemy. <laughs> A man who's exploded upon that enemy taking damage. That's pretty cool. Annihilate. When you kill a target with Banish, you continue firing at another enemy until you run out of ammo. That's kind of fun, too. Um, powerful chain shot ability for every kill made with their vector rifle. Your abilities will be, ooh, will be refunded. The thing is, the vector rifle doesn't inherently deal that much damage, right? I think if I give it Sting or Blood Trail, then it's a bit better. Uh, in combination with Banish, for instance. Soul Harvest is kind of meh. Uh, Needle is also kind of okay at best. Uh, Dead Eye is fine. Homie Mine seems pretty decent from the description, but I don't know actually. Annihilate seems kind of mid. I would say Serial and Homie Mine are the ones with the most interesting propositions the only problem with homie mine is that you get the aoe exactly around that unit right so it's like it's good for ambushes but it just basically allows you to move like slap a mine onto someone and then not worry about them moving after because then it will stick to the enemy right so it's fine but it's really not otherwise that exciting i think the serial is however pretty interesting because that means that every time that you shoot an enemy they can, every time you kill someone, you can shoot another person. Which if you have, for instance, Blood Trail, it's pretty decent. Because then you're starting to get pretty decent damage here. Annihilate is, is not that interesting, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's get, let's get Serial. And then I think I'll get Blood Trail. I might even get Homie Mine later, but I think for now I'll just get Blood Trail. Just because it's quite good. Um, to make that like she she becomes a really strong finisher, even if she's not even if she, her damage by itself isn't the highest. And Mox now has a manual override, lower cooldown by one. Battle Lord after each enemy after each enemy in line of sight takes an action takes an immediate. Take an immediate action. That is kind of crazy. Judgment. The target is attacked. The enemy has a chance to panic. That's pretty good too. Uh, saturation fire. Cone shaped. Every wait. What? Fire, fire a cone shaped barrage of bullets in, at every enemy in the area. In addition, the cover of these enemies can be damaged or destroyed. Uses a lot of ammunition. Does that hit them? Guaranteed. Saturation requires three ammo. Takes a standard shot. Okay. So it doesn't actually... It doesn't guarantee that it hits. It's not a bad thing. I have 70 points with him, so I should be able to... I kind of want to use the... Um, I, I really want to get Wrath. Because it allows me to put myself into bigger enemies. Like, doing that to that mech would have been really good. Um... Battle Lord and Judgment are also really good. Lowering cooldown seems pretty good as well. But I think the ability to make enemies panic is really good. I mean, obviously, ideally, you want to make sure enemies die before they actually do anything, right? That's kind of his whole thing. But in case they don't, being able to panic them is a pretty good in between. So let's get Battle Lord. Or no, sorry. Uh, manual override and Judgment. Battle Lord doesn't seem bad, but I feel like most, very often, you might end up just like, like running away. I guess you could reposition. I guess Battle Lord is probably pretty strong if you know how to use it. 
It's a five turn. Oh, it's an it's an ability you use. Okay, right. That makes sense. Turns from the lost and enemy pods do not grant immediate action. That's fine. All right. That would mean like throwing a grenade, moving, shooting, right? So, so as an ability, I don't know how I feel about that. Judgment, however, feels pretty good. I'm sure Saturation 5 is probably okay as well, especially if you can flank enemies. And then we'll get Manual Override. And I want to get Wrath. So we got the Arashi and the Katana. It's pretty cool. We got some laser sights. Superior magazines. Oops. Got the Archon Autopsy. An aesthetically impressive specimen. The hidden horrors of melding organic tissue with the inner workings of a machine are well disguised here. The unique melee weapon employed by the creature could be of particular interest to our rangers. And the assassin weapons, which are also pretty important for our rangers. The chosen assassin proved deadly with both her sword and her shotgun, and no doubt, and both will no doubt be valuable to our, our, to our efforts. However, I believe the sword conceivably worked by others' own work to be the true asset here. Uh, it was a task many thought impossible, Commander, but you and your forces have once again proven beyond resilient in defeating the elders chosen. We fucking got him, boys. Uh, and I think we still have the, the ability to go to that other mission, I think. Minus one. All right, so now we have this mission that we have to do immediately afterwards. So that's kind of cool. Right? My siblings and I have had our differences, but still, I would never have expected either of them to go down like this. Well, get fucked, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna do a guerrilla ops. And we're gonna go into. The very difficult one, hidden event. Um, the other two events are less of a concern for now. Well, actually, this one sucks, actually. But the good thing about it is that, or the bad thing about it is that we don't really need an engineer right now, I think. I think we just kind of need supplies. So we have a Templar. Ooh, we have a we have a squatty in this. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Uh, hold up. Can we have a specialist? Let's get used. Oh, she's tired. Fuck. Well, she's gonna have to be tired for a little bit longer. Dude. I'm sorry. We, we we need you here. And oh no, wait. Yeah, and you're squad mates with Milkman, so we need you. Um. Let's get that Nano Mad Kit going. We're going to get that. Um, all right, I need to make utility items available. Make weapons available. 
So, Skulljack, Medkit. Uh, do we actually have three snipers? We have to, oh my, we had three snipers in this mission. That's fucking terrifying. Um, we have a grenadier. We have a two snipers. Can we get anyone else here? <laughs> I need someone that's not this. Oh, you're in a mission. Fuck. Right. Mm. Well, I guess I could bring Christine Becker. That's honestly probably better than than another sniper. Uh, okay. All right, Jugs. You're gonna get your. Uh, you have pretty decent will. I might just give you like a. Where are my flashbangs? Flashbang and... God, I hate that my blue screen rounds are in a character that's in a mission. That's so annoying. Um, and I'll give you some AP rounds. Unfortunately, I don't get to use the equipment from the the guy, the the assassin guy. So that sucks. But and I shotguns right now are also not the best, right? So computer and stock is pretty okay. Advanced laser sight and a superior air trigger is probably better. Um, the mag cannon. Apparently, all oh, right. The one I have is also equipped in a character. God. Mm. Is actually literally the same. Uh, okay. Let's give you plasma grenade and then maybe a give you the mind shield. Quick, you can have the tracer rounds. You can probably have the mimic beacon. And put a flashbang on you. Should I think I'll yeah, that's is fine. AP rounds will give you Peter in stock. Let's make sure I gotta give people their, their weapons this time around. Can I afford building uh, things that I did not know? Oh, that's fine. I'm missing basically everything supplies, um, alloys, and crystals. But it's okay because we're scanning for some of them, or we were anyway. Put a scope on that and a stock on that. Maybe even like an advanced auto loader, but I think uh, let's let's hold on to that thought for now. Jugs, you have your equipment. You have your equipment. You need a stock for sure and a scope, maybe even. So let's actually fix. Let's change that around. Here. Instead of giving you the scope, I'm going to give you the, 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 the one who has a squatty, it's bad accuracy. So instead I'll give you um, an expanded mag and a regular scope. And I'll give you an advanced scope because you're blind, superior scope, and an advanced stock. That way, if you miss, you at least do some damage. Right. 
very difficult. We need some things, and it's, it's going to be a lot of robots there. We don't have our fucking blue screen round. That makes me quite annoyed, but it's literally on one of my characters right now, and I can't just build another one. I need supplies. I wish, I wish, so many wishes right now. Anyway, that's fine. We, we have hackers, we have grenadiers, we have parry, um, we have a sniper with no AP. Maybe I put this the AP on them instead, actually. Yeah, I might, I might actually put the AP on them instead. Do we have any abilities? Quick draw. The longer it ends your turn. Into the single bonus move. That's not bad if you score a kill. Or, um, I don't really know if I care about that too much or not. With them, actually, it's kind of like it's okay, but the third fire is fine. Uh, quick draw is fine. Nothing is really exciting about it, though. Anyone? Let's see if there's any abilities that I absolutely want for this mission. You already have Blaze Storm. Stone Strike Templar. And of course, not keep No, I don't think so. I think I'll just keep you. It's a shame that you're a standard one. I kind of want to give you the blast padding, to be completely honest. Keep you a bit. Give you, you know, a bit, just a little bit huskier. Probably not a bad idea. Ten points. I think you can probably afford it. Um, and then I want to actually give you better armor. There's no need for this music in this area. Power Templar. Does your helmet get like I don't think so, right? We got that one. Okay. Let's see. So weapons check, items check. Uh, you're still missing an item for Rubis. Next that we can also put something on the weapon. I mean we don't need it, but you know, I might as well just leave it. Uh, I'll put the repeater on it, in case. We can always remove it now, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm honestly really tempted to just put the... The uh, AP rounds on Wick instead. Because I think Wick's going to be taking yeah, some pretty long distance, and then they don't have a, they don't have a good weapon yet, so maybe... Maybe on AP on them is more important than Tracer, because they usually have good aim anyway, because they're a sniper. Oh, but they don't have a scope in their weapon right now, do they? Oh, I only have... Right. Okay, let's fix that, actually. I actually want to give them a scope. I mean, their aim is usually pretty fine. Like, it's kind of unnecessary to do that. They have, like, yeah, 80... 89, 90, so you have 99, which is pretty strong. I think I just need to get maybe the AP rounds on them. Because Jugs has, like, he has the sword, he has uh, just a bunch of damage, right? He also has Blade Master, he doesn't have Touchable. Hmm. I, could give, I could give Jugs, like, a nano, nano scale or a Smoke Bomb or something. Now scale feels kind of useless, to be honest. It's just like one. Doesn't really make it to... Oh, but without the trace round, Wick has only 89 aim. Okay. And I can only give them one type of... You know what? Fuck it. Let's just keep the, the tracer rounds. 
Make sure I lend those shots is better than trying to armor pierce and then missing. Automated defenses. There's going to be a whole lot of armor, so... We have some... Well, we have one way to do with that and two hackers. But the hacker... This hacker can't even... She's just a squatty, so she has no abilities. But she has stocks, so... Good enough. We have grenades as well. We have a bunch of grenades. Have any of our special grenades used yet? Uh, I'll put a smoke bomb on you. And... Maybe a frost bomb here. Yeah, that should be fine. You have two flashbangs. I don't want two flashbangs. Uh, so you get a. You just get a regular gun. Alright, should be good. Let's go. face okay. yeah I forgot to give uh, Rubis I don't know what that was a skin I don't know what's next so if you can climb that but fair Victims. Move into position. Look out. Oh, nope, I'll put right on the Here, probably a good place for sniping. Affirmative, moving out. Oh, is that the same pot or is that another? That's another pot, right? I think the other pot is like up here. Understood, moving out. Again, automated defenses, that means we're probably going to be hitting a few. Uh, Are somewhere. Rolling out. Yep, look up here. And maybe take a shot at that in case we engage next turn. Pretty close to the engagement range, so. I, if I'm. Okay, so the other ones are here instead. So I thought they can they come up here. So we should be able to get a bit closer without triggering them, but I'm a little skeptical because if they, if they come in turn, then the dash is kind of. Which is out of position, right? I will get, however, uh, the Templar as close to them as possible. Like maybe even right here. Although I don't know if there's a third unit that's maybe actually no, the, the rocks blocking the line of sight, right? So that should be safe, I think. You, you know, you can just come here. 
and Yuzuki, you can just dash all the way and then go into cover fire because you're you have that ability. On it. I think next turn we can probably engage. Just in case we get spotted. Definitely not impossible. I don't like the double engagement sounds of it, but at least it's no elite specters. So it's only 14 health ones. Okay, those ones moved away, so that's perfect for us. We can engage now. There's also apparently a group of mechs over there. But that makes sense with the automated defenses thing. Let me just go to the bathroom before continuing this. Just give me a sec. Just a moment, chat. I was gonna, I was gonna do something. Try to remember what it was. Okay, I remember. It's actually in the computer. It's just completely forgot about it. Um, there. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Twitch. It's YouTube doing YouTube things. Fuck.
Mm. There we go. All right, that was just a background thing for me. It has something to do with the stream. Seven to nine. Go in for the attack. I risk revealing that bot again, which I don't want to do. There's also the um, robots, which are like right around here. But if I attack here, it's going to probably happen anyway, right? But that's fine, because then I can attack and then move. Repair or whatever. Five to ten damage. Bombing for four to five. Was there a second enemy here? Was there a third enemy here? There was, right? About fifteen damage in total. Allows a lot of our allies to clear up the rest. Let's try that. Fire in the hole. Shot. It was a codex, that's what it was. Maybe overwatching with a wick would have been good to take an overwatch shot. Pushing with ether seems very sketchy. But I, I still 100% shot on them. Uh, but I feel like killing an enemy is probably better than that. Kill that codex. That's how it's done. Nice. Now, the specters, I think I can probably throw a bomb here. I don't know if, I think you should clear that, but I'm not sure. I also kind of want to move back a little bit, maybe to some full cover if possible. I think that goo is not toxic. The thing is, I feel like if I move here, I might reveal that pot, so I don't want to do that. You will strike a combined shot with this soldier to bond, mate. Who is your bond mate? No. It's Jugs. Okay. Well, Jugs attacking out of cover is fine. Or in half cover is fine. Because he... Because mm, he hasn't black board. So it's fine for him to just shoot here, kill, and not worry, basically. Could also throw the axe. Make sure that thing dies. 79 on that guy. 94 chance of this. Throw an axe doesn't count as an action. Dual strike seems... Oh, it's a free action. Oh, oh for the bond mate. Okay. So then maybe let's move back here first and then do the, the shot. See if I can kill that specter. Two, five, okay, that's fine. Should I maybe destroy the cover first? It has five health left, so. Let's just do that. Hopefully it hits. Minimum damage, amazing. Now I think we throw the axe. We could also use advanced teamwork. Oh, it's shared between mod mates, okay. Could hit that for sure. Or maybe hit that and then shoot that guy, right? Because he has 100% shot on them. 94 on them. 
But the specters are the main hassle here, so... I don't, if, if I can get rid of them... Yeet. Ninety-five on the pistol shot, ninety-five on ninety-five percent on that guy. Really, oh, that's impressive. That's kind of scary though. That means that, mm, yeah, I'm a little worried about you being there, to be honest. You have the mind shield, but I don't know if that means I can maybe still mind control you. Maybe I just run back with you actually, because I'm a little scared of you getting mind control, that seems reasonable. or like you possessed or whatever. Jugs, with your last action, I just want you to um, kill that specter. That one's probably going to come to us and trigger a reaction shot, and then Jugs is going to attack it. Not good. Excellent. They're still going to possess us, but that's okay. Who's going to possess, though? Because that's the weakest unit, so that's good for us. Is the Spectre running away? Does it count as another Blastorm? I don't know. That does. So that's good. Thanks. And then that should... Oh, it should trigger another one, but it doesn't. Unfortunate. Oh, the Codex. So the Codex teleports is going to do a Psionic Bomb and then die, right? Thanks, Codex. Now let's count on you. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna move out of the range here. I can handle that. I'm moving backwards so I don't move forward into the thing. We have a 12th turn until it locks out. Actually, we have Wick, right? Yeah, we can just fucking blast them. Or not. Never mind. Oak too soon. You have the stock, right? Yeah, you do. Let's reload first. I'm gonna hit anyway, so revive him. I could conceal and then run with jugs. Larian Core Advanced Scope, pretty good. And apparently the enemies have moved a bit further out, so we're pretty safe here for now. Alright, Christine. I don't want to risk you getting spotted yet. Oh, I moved to the wrong tile, but okay. And it was a dash. Great, thanks game. What's it looking like here? We have the mechs all the way over there. Right by the payload. And then we have an I know we have another like group of specters or something running around, like probably back here now, if I had to guess. I have eleven turns to get there, so we have time. I might move Wick a bit closer. Actually, maybe maybe here it's fine for Wick. I could even start trying to take shots at those mechs. Maybe that's not a bad thing to do. Kill the admin mechs. Oh, and it's an executed. Let's go. So they activate, but they don't actually see us, so it's fine. Or at least they shouldn't see us still. No, they still don't. Okay, I was gonna say, hold up. Hold up. You get free reloads, correct? Yes, you do. So I'm just gonna uh, overwatch. Wait, if you get Bubis. Does anyone get. Is anyone spotted by the max? No. Or well, you are, but I mean, you're not spotted. You're just sort of there, so that's fine. Just gonna reload with you. 
an overwatch. Oh, shit. Did not mean to. Ooh, that's bad. I did not mean to do that. Input error. No one gets by me. I think I just overwatch, honestly, with the pistol. I'm just gonna put you here. One or two overwatches you last turn, but whatever. And with you, I'll put you over here and overwatch. So they should maybe move towards us, or they don't know where we are yet. They don't know where we are yet. I thought so, but I wanted to play a safe house. There's a snake here. A very fat snake. Could do some more scouting before initiating here. I just want to make sure those other units are nowhere near us. Worship doesn't have any cool grenades to use, but. Let's do this. 79 with 7 to 9, it's okay. Problem is the armor. If we got the Execute again, that would be fucking sick. I mean, it's still pretty decent damage overall, so I'm not complaining. Spotting range is about there, so I'm just gonna come here. This is already spotting range, so I don't want to get that far. I'll just push like to maybe here. It's too far, so I'm just gonna push to like here. And next turn, if we need to push in with either, we'll go. Overwatch with you, and we'll see if we. So now we get spotted. That's fine. It's in their turn. It's not the best for us. Just get spotted, but that's fine because he's on Overwatch, I believe. I believe. Oh no, he reloaded. Right? Uh, again. Oh, thank you. He wasn't on watch. Whoa. Okay. All right. Not good. Oh, our medic panicking is not great. Um, quick, I'm gonna save your shot for until after we're done shredding here. I forget that because we've already revealed, they technically just get your shoes. It's like a bullshit, but whatever. They got revealed by Wick, but it's like, okay. Nice. Uh, this push should be okay. I don't imagine there's going to be they're going to be here. I imagine they're like somewhere up here. I can do 100% shot, so I'm going to push in with. Uh, we're going to take a shot with Christine Becker. Do you have any cover, Christine? I don't. Let's put you on half cover at least. Perfect. Um, I'm, I'm debating on whether it's a better to get kills with Wick or the Templar. I think the Templar actually might be more valuable at the moment. Wick already got a kill. You got a promotion, so that was definitely worth it. Okay. You get spotted by anyone else. Just vibe here. Long, long watch, overwatch. And overwatch, she's, she's fine. There you go, she's not panicked anymore. She wasn't even bothered by it. You can get that hack target from a distance. I 
didn't just see it yet. Still can't seem to see that target. Hacking target? Mega? No. Wait turn, so I'm I'm not not in a hurry. The other pod hasn't seen us yet, so I'm just gonna overwatch in case they walk into us. Oh, there they are. Okay. That was a very far shot. But that was a double. Ooh, that was a double pod with a sectopod. That's fucking scary. Okay. This got very spicy. And okay. Have this, has the sectopod technically not spotted us yet? Or the... Oh, okay. If so, that's really good for us. Because that's terrifying. Could vote that guy if needed. 31, 25. Terrible shots here. Could hack the thing. Get it done and then just move. Oh, no, but I, want, I would want to do it with you, right? But I need to make sure the enemies die first. That's the most important part here. Codex is probably gonna, you know, do, do the usual Codex thing. This guy coming in is a bit annoying. Um, you can shoot the Codex. You can bolt them and the Codex. And he kills them for sure, which is pretty good. Maybe I just do that. And I kill the Spectre with the other guy. Let's see. If... If uh, Jugs can hit this. Yeah, that's the pod that I'm scared of right there. Okay, he did not hit the 74, which is tragic, but... Kinda... I'm tempted to honestly just like... Because it's 4 damage if I shoot the Spectre, right? Even if I miss. It's 3. 2. I, I think I'm gonna save that for next turn. If you shoot, you do one, two. No, actually, yeah, it's more because it's the I have the improved things. So I will save on the. I'll do that next turn instead. Put you there. I will put you on Overwatch. Uh, Wick is gonna be on Overwatch. You're gonna take a shot at the Spectre. And so is Megan. Because even if you miss, you still do damage. Perfect. I accidentally put one character extra. I'm down. Back to pod, no! Dude, go away. Just fuck out. Oh, that's bad. Now they've seen us. Mm. Okay. 
What a insane. We should be able to, like, knock it down. Potentially even freeze it. Is anyone on Overwatch? No. Okay. Alright, so Shen, I have a mission for you. Which is to either kill that shield bear or kill this elite trooper. Wick, what are your shots like? 67, 55, 51. Okay, none are great. But I think after a few grenades that might change. I'm gonna th I think I'm gonna toss in a beacon just to be safe. This doesn't This doesn't end our turn, right? This this ends our turn. This doesn't end our turn, I think. Uh, the hate wire protocol. Shut down is 60. Shut down is 50. Okay, we might be able to shut it down, otherwise we'll freeze it. I don't think this ends her turn. It doesn't say if it costs an action. Which is a little concerning. There's a lot of like micro missiles and shit fighting, f flying this way. Wait, do you not see the... Oh, he's, he's behind the boxes. Fucker, okay. Jugs, what are your prognosis here? For 8 to 10, you don't kill that guy. You definitely don't kill those guys. You kill that guy. Mm. Let's do the things that I know for sure does not end my turn, right? Which is... This ends my turn. How much damage does that do to the sector bot? It does 7 to 8, which is pretty good. I got two uses of it. I could just use it to outright, never mind, I don't have sight on it. Um, okay, so maybe I toss in the beacon as a safety measure, but the thing is that'll end my turn if I do it. Right. But maybe that's fine. Let's just toss the beacon, like, right... right here. Turn, I should have reloaded first, that's the only thing I should have done. More. Uh, jugs. Don't know about that. Uh, that shield bear should probably die. This guy kind of needs to die as well. He's not dead, unfortunately. He tries to move, he dies up. But we have that going for us. 55 on that guy. 51 on the heavy mech. Let, let me, let, okay, I want to see if this is scuffed or not. Uh, if the hacking ends my turn... Wait, I don't think I saved. Oh no, I did. Uh, if the hacking ends my turn here... Uh, it's really like it, it, there's no wording that it says it ends my turn and it doesn't say that it costs an action so got it god damn it let's see if it's gonna screw us over still have our turn that's fine But it did cost an action. It was not a free action. What damaged ether? Oh, the the, the micro missiles. Um. Turn this guy off. Freeze the Sectopod. I don't imagine they're immune to freezing. Yep, yeah, doesn't say anything about ice. Activate 
fingers and try to control it. Getting some pretty abysmal rolls here. Eighty-nine percent chance of doing all that, or I think I'm just gonna jump down here, slap that guy in the face, and if he tries to run away, just blade my friend. It's implacable. Now for Rubus. I want him to run here and try to freeze both of those mechs. Whatever you say. See if the game is lying to me or not. It's like he was not alive. I might just put another action on him. We have nothing to fear. Just shoot the... It's like bomb the... I don't know if that's going to destroy the ice or not, though. So let's maybe not do that. Like that. Let's just shoot the... Let's just shoot the mectopod, start working on it. Sectopod and start working on its uh, armor. Thank fucking god, dude. Double action. Kills my thing. Should kill him. There you go. Something happening with the sound here. Um, Parry doesn't work against that. Parry, no. She gets the shots at least. That thing has two actions, which is kind of fucking scary. Good to go. It's my what are my odds with this sectopod here? Nine nine percent chance. Spread all its take a good chunk of its armor out. That guy is still frozen. Um don't have chain shot. Plasma nade does 5 to 4 to 5, that's just the more damage. It's also 100%, so let's just go with that. I think Rube is at, a, at a, a delicate position here, but I think it's it works out pretty okay. I can move her up here. I move Mega up here. Or actually, even better. They like combat protocol with Mega, right? 7 to 8 damage. So Christine Becker can move up here. For the height advantage. Let me see if maybe I can have shots with anyone else as well. No. Okay, so you just shoot that macto that mactopod, sectopod, mactopod. Um. And the explosion from him dying does damage units, so I have to be careful with that. So you have 7 to 8 guaranteed. Uh, jugs, you have a 99% shot of doing a lot of damage, so just please. God bless. Okay. 10 damage. Then we should just be able to kill it with uh, Colonel Protocol. You can even like, move up here first and do it, right? Okay, I'll go. So we have the high advantage for the next thing. Could even just shoot it actually. Save the combat protocol for someone else. Is this 100%? 8 to 9? Yeah, it's just it's dead. Okay. Okay. 
I hit you. If it tries to move, it dies. But it might just shoot rockets. Nope, it's dead. Oh, that one also turned on, didn't it? That's not... I forgot about that. Actually, shoot shoot ether, right? No? Mm, that's bad for... Ooh, that's bad for us. Oh, it's actually fine. Surely you won't panic again, right? You already shattered once, what do you mean? It's fine. She'll cover up. Jugs. We need those jugs. We need to... We need to run and gun. Blast this fucker. Ninety-one percent. At last. All right, can Wick take a shot now? Uh, they can. You need to reload first. Hundred percent. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, okay. Got some wounds, but that's okay. It was it was my and mostly minor wounds. Uh, of course, Mega getting shattered doesn't... It's not great for us, but she did a lot of good work this mission, so we kind of needed her to take one for the team there. Think the elders will like this one? We got some light wounds, uh, and Mega is just wounded, so that's fine. She'll probably develop some sort of issue from that. That's okay. We got Ether. We got the Reflect. Reflect's really good. Invert. This doesn't sound terrible, to be honest. Cost one focus. I don't know if it costs an action as well or not. Let's see. It does not end the Templar's turn. So it costs an action, but it doesn't. So you can still technically invert. I think an interesting play would be inverting someone. Hitting the enemy, the like another enemy, letting your team kill the inverted enemy, and then parrying. But that, that only really works with like a three-person pod and no other enemies in the enemy. Play. Deep focus is fine. Reflect, I really like, especially with deep focus. 4% chance, and then a, so 50. So we get like a 60% chance to max. Oh wait, 40% chance of activating a focus level 2. I see. So then, so then you get, yeah, it's not great. Range single target attacks. I've had it work. I've had it like do some pretty cool stuff. I honestly think that both of these are really good. Like deep focus and this are really good. Invert, I feel like could has a place for sure. I'm almost tempted to. Focus, stun per focus, stun targets also in attack. Momentum, alert, blah, blah, blah. Increase that higher focus level. So technically I could take deeper focus for the higher, but it's like not often that he kills three three units, right? So maybe just reflect here is kind of a good passive to have, and then I can get other stuff later. These two are definitely not bad things to take, I think. All right, backer. Uh, you can have... You can probably have combat protocol. We have a lot of medics. Um, I can give you, actually, you know what? I think I always need medics, so. And I can take combat protocol a bit later. And Wick, you get to have uh, reaction shot at any enemy that moves or attacks within the cone of fire. 
I don't love that. Face off feels like it's okay. There's no limit to amount of kill shots. Kills on shots the sharpshooter take outside of no counts. Kills on the utilized squad side, even if the sharpshooter does not have long watch ability. Wow, that's kind of cool. Kills on has a three turn. It kills it. Doesn't sound bad at all. But I, it's been very rare that I've been able to use kills on now. In my previous campaign. I think face off is pretty good if you're like close to enemies, but if you're not, then it's sort of like. I, I love lightning hands. Face off like doesn't even really have a place with um This is the best augmented by aggressive field positioning, granting a high chance. Yeah, it's like it's okay. If you're close to enemies, it's fine. Which I guess in some situations you have to be. Because versus the loss, you just take pistol shots, right? Unless you're not sure you're gonna hit it. Then you just take a face off, but like most of the time you kinda of wanna sit back. Switch songs here. Let's see. Let's just go with kill zone for now. Maybe take face off later. Then if it sucks, I'll just take face off next time. There we go. We got a scope. Got some corpses. I could put breakdown. That thing looks like something Earth military planners would have dreamed of, uh, about controlling 20 years ago. Heavy armor, advanced weapon systems, and yet still. Reasonable, reasonably maneuverable in the field. Once we pull it apart, I'm hoping we'll find a means of improving our gremlin designs. Ooh, Hello, Commander. admirable performance. Nice. All right, she got the fear of the chosen, which is pretty okay because she's gonna be in. All right, she can't because she has to be healed for this, right? Darn. Okay. Can we put you back? No. Oh, he's still he's still injured for a few days. Right, because we did it immediately after the, the chosen mission, right? Okay, well, uh, not now. Let me finish getting the, the crystals here. And then we're going to probably make contact with someone. Strategic resource located. Right, make sure we got a sense of the area indicated extensive casualties from both sides. Along a slew of alien wreckage left behind during the invasion. We used our onboard sensors to scan for salvage and we were able to recover some uh, valuable equipment to further our own projects. Nice. Thinking I might go for a, a resistance contact here. Let's see, dark events. Got the counter thing. Contact and install radius and replace and discuss with receiving this bonus. I think we already have it. Maybe I need to install more. We got some like money coming in now. Now that we killed the uh, the assassin. God bless. The red is just because there's a facility here, right? Yeah. Maybe we just put in some some of these relays. Then. Well, let me check what the build items are looking like right now. Hey, Commander. Now we can afford things again i uh, don't want to buy this i do want to buy this eventually um Tell me something, doctor. research wise would like to get that wars that rage suit like most people, I wanted to believe that the or five alien at five 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 and a quarter that would actually be pretty reasonable um I, admit, I, was drawn to the sense of I think i'll hold for the rest here i don't want a war suit eventually but i don't have the, the money for it And then for I think that's it. We got these. We got the. Wouldn't the assassin head be my oh, it's here. Um. And a bond, Wicked Mark. Yeah, let's go. We don't have a lot of people available right now, though. It's kind of mung. Of it. Six days. How many injured people do we have? I need to see how many soldiers we have available for combat. One. Two. Three. No, you're not going to be there. You're not going to be there. Four, five, six. Okay. It's, 
Let's not. Let's let's wait until people are no longer wounded, so that we can actually have them on the field. Dude, Mox is exhausted. Mox is so tired. Tell you what, guys, though, I think I'm going to call it here for now. Uh, it's been about three hours, so continue with the campaign probably soon, maybe tomorrow. Oh, maybe tomorrow. I do have some stuff I need to do tomorrow, uh, so I don't think I'll be around during the evening, but maybe in the morning, early afternoon. But we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the channel, give it a follow and you see when I'm on next and all that kind of fun stuff. Bye guys.